Hello everyone! Welcome to another episode of Roblox Game Development. Episode 140. Whew. That's it's a lot of episodes, huh? Yeah. Well, let's not dwell on that for too long. Let's get to work, shall we? We're going to make these product price buttons actually subtract from our player's um, money or points. So let's go to the starter GUI, shop GUI, script here, all the way down in frame list page, okay? And inside this purchase, what we're going to do is also make a price. Oops, I can't type. Price equals product dot price dot value. If, after we make this price variable, we're going to make if price is less than or equal to player dot leader stats dot points dot value then then we continue but maybe a better way would be if the price is greater than the point the points the player currently has return and end because okay they're not getting their tool this isn't happening all right and at the very end of this once everything else is done then player that leader stats that points that value equals player that leader stats that points that value minus price so there we go we're checking if the players if the price is greater than all the points that the player has uh, yeah you're not getting anything at all but that's just gonna kill the function right there if they don't have enough money it's killing the function it's returning nothing you're done on. But in the case that it's not, that it's not um, greater than what they have, that they do have enough money for it, it's just going to continue on. And soon, and at the very end, it's going to subtract the money or the price from their uh, points. And you know what's really annoying me is the fact that this frame is visible by default. So we're going to fix that. All right. So. We're going to have to press F7 and then Alt F7 to launch the player actually as to where they can get player entered. Um, yes, allow access. Okay. Um, that's we're gonna have to do that. So let's press Alt F7 now and to go ahead and zoom by our zombie because he is so awesome and cool looking. Hmm. Oh, we have a big error, actually. Let's close this server. Close this player. I guess in our leaderboard givenness script, yeah, we need to completely remove this function move character to spawn uh, because that was for our obby spawns, which we no longer have. And let's remove this part here. All right, now it's just our leaderboard givenness script. And that will work a lot better now. Okay. There we go. And alt f7 that'll launch one player for us and we only need one player this time um, because remember play solo does not give you enough um, whatever it doesn't why can't I think people huh why can't I think hmm. I don't know uh, anyway let's go to the shop all right so now if we click light 100, our points change to zero, and we got the light. There's some error with the light, but we got the light nonetheless. Huh. Shop. There's an error with the firing mode GUI not being a part of it. What's the problem there? Firing mode GUI is there. Shop GUI frame. Oh, no, no. I actually want to go to players. Player one. Starter gear. Light. Okay. Has it there. Backpack light. Has it there. Hmm. Huh. Where do we define that GUI? I think that's in our local script, right? Yeah, tools. Dot firing mode GUI clone. Okay, well, here's what we're going to do. Let's close this. Close this. Inside of our 
um, tool, our light tool, go to the local script, and actually take this, cut it, and replace it with nil. Down here, when we move the GUI over to the player's GUI, then all we're going to do is if GUI equals nil, then GUI equals that. That way it's not firing right away when not everything has been copied and moved into their uh, proper places yet. Okay? So that that's all we're going to do is right there. And that should be it. Right? Yeah. All right. So we already got what I wanted today done. We don't need to go and double check that. Uh, it'll work just fine. Promise. So there we go. Next episode starting Monday, um, we're going to have... We're going to check if the player already has that tool. If so, we're going to display a message, which I think this idea that I have right now is going to take like, I don't know, two episodes, hopefully, only, probably. Um, it's going to display a message of that they can't purchase it, they already have it. And we're also going to make it display a message when they don't have enough money. Okay, they don't have enough money to purchase it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, after that, after we make this like in-game points purchasing thing, we're going to make it to where people can buy stuff like game passes, t-shirts, shirts, pants, everything else that people can sell. They can actually purchase it using in-game purchases, using real Robux, real tickets, which, okay, they're technically still virtual and they're technically just int values on a database, but they are real in the sense that they're limited to, for us anyway, they're technically unlimited, but you guys know what I mean, real Robux and real tickets, the currency used across the Roblox website. Hopefully that makes sense. All right. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button. Corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys, as always, later.